I'm Dan. I'm Lynn. We're the Experimental Expediters. Today we're going to talk about some of the equipment needed to be a truck driver. And we're new truck drivers, and I think I overdid it when I started out. Uh, I had about two pallets worth of stuff shipped to Uniontown, Ohio, where FedEx Custom Critical was located. Everything was ready and waiting for us when we got in the truck. We pretty much had everything we needed, and, and that's stuff, all. We didn't need. <laughs> stuff we didn't need. Well, we're going to go over that and talk to you about that. Since we're fairly new as the experimental expediters, if you have any suggestions on things we could use to make our life easier on the road, use our email below. Give us uh, an email, and uh, we'd be happy for the tips. Hope you enjoy this video. Hope this, these tips help you as well, and we'll, we'll have some sightseeing at the end. So I am in the box of my truck now that I figured out how to open it, uh, how to use the lift gate. So, I think this is an example when you're new in the expediting business and you over order or over prepare. But I got five boxes yesterday I already unpacked. And it wasn't all that much stuff. And I filled up a grocery cart full of stuff at Walmart. So let's see. Let's see what the unboxing is. So I'm going to unbox some things. I think these are... So I really had a lot of stuff to unbox here. Over the time, since I'm actually doing this uh, narration a little bit later, much later, uh, a lot of stuff I probably never used. A lot of things I'm glad I have on board in case I need them. Uh, and like these gas masks here. I, I read somewhere that if you're going to be hauling chlorine, it's required. Also, what if I did have an accident and uh, needed it? Uh, there was a leak and I needed to go outside or I went to open my door after looking in the camera and saw there was something uh, didn't look right and I had some type of uh, hazardous kind of, it's good to have. So a lot of things I, I have just in case, if you're seeing me opening uh, some of that, that shampoo we've never used, the, the soap we've never used. Uh, that's my beef jerky rack for, for the Ninja foodie, which I definitely used. Um, since I'm doing videos, a lot of those, those cards. So a lot of the things I'm unpacking, I actually, I did use those hooks. Uh, I'm so glad I got all this stuff in advance because it made life easier once I started unpacking on the truck. So I'm gonna go over all these items one at a time um, as real briefly. To, and I'll tell you some of the things that I needed and like that truck maintenance log, I thought, boy, wouldn't it be great to keep track of the expenses in case I buy my own truck? But I really didn't use it, but I do have an idea of what the expenses are. And I have a spreadsheet that I keep some of that on. Um, so I, they just showed a um, USB hub for charging. It says it's rapid charger and it didn't work well. Uh, you buy stuff on Amazon Electronics. Some of it's great, some of it isn't. So there was a lot of stuff came in. Uh, milk frother. I have an espresso machine. It frosts the coffee enough where I stop using the milk frother. I like my latte. That's anyway. Uh, I, I sent that back home. I stopped using it. Fire blankets. Uh, absolutely. Uh, I keep one next to the seat on each side by the door. So that's something you definitely, definitely want to have on board. A lot of safety equipment. Hard hats and goggles. I'll talk about that. Uh, there's a lot of things you really want to have on the truck. Um, any kind of commercial truck you want to have. Pots and pans, make sure they're inductive. I'll talk about all this stuff. So, I, I uh, yeah, that's, uh, again, we haven't used that yet, but it's good just in case you're stuck somewhere. We've been stuck a few days places and uh, had showers not available. It happens. So that's why I got this this stuff here. So I did get a drone to do some videos with. And so some of that equipment's for the drone. That fan was a lifesaver in the summer. Just put it on the counter next to us. It's a USB-powered fan. Got some shoe covers and things. So I'll talk about these things. You want to get all, all your... And if you get everything up front, either pack it, pack, put it in your car, buy it on Amazon. That way you have everything you need all at once. Got to, just to think through it in advance, rather than keep needing, oh, we got to get this, we got to get that. All your cookware has to be inductive compatible. 
and then we have uh, rain uh, uh, rain wear uh, cover cover your because if you're have to deliver in a typhoon or really heavy rain you, you want to cover your shoes and and so I'm, I'm going to do this in sections so right now what you see there is a first aid kit you got to have one. we have two of them one in the front one in the back the cones were great for helping practice the backing up with my co-driver and also in emergencies there is a chemical suit and a gas mask and shoe covers uh, that I have uh, just in case I've never used it. It's up in the front. It's easily accessible. You never know. Uh, if there's a leak out of my truck and I have to move something or touch the doors, I've got the gloves, the shoe covers. So I, I, I'm not like, I'll probably never use it, but I have it. These flashlights I got really cheap. Uh, they are strobe lights, orange lights, flashlights, multi purpose. They're really cheap. I have two of them and they, they stick with, with a magnet and swivel around. I'm so glad I got those. Gorilla tape, I can't tell you how many times I've used it. I even cover the drain in my bathroom uh, with it. Zip ties, we use it all sorts of different situations we're trying to uh, get things. This I, is a must have. It's a Mylar blanket. Uh, they use it in aviation. I always had it in my plane. And in an emergency, if there's no heat, you, you can use it. And also if someone's going into shock in an accident, you can use it. Fire blanket is great to use to egress out of a truck or cover a fire. Um, and I keep one on each side of the door. Um, this is a uh, carbon monoxide. That's a Geiger counter. I, you don't need that. But I bought two of them, one for the cab and one for the back of the truck if I have radioactive. It keeps a history of the levels. And I'll know, I want to know if I have residual in the back. And I want to know if that stuff's getting to me in my cab. This is a carbon monoxide detector. There is one on the truck, but what if it doesn't work? I wanna know if there's a leak when I'm sleeping and I have one of those. Hard hats you're gonna need at a lot of facilities. It'll tell you in these C-Link notes, you're required to have hard hat and goggles and, and hard toe sh shoes. So I bought two of them and I keep them up in the front. The goggles, there's places where it says they're required. You, you could go get them at the office. This is, well, I wouldn't live without this. Uh, I don't want to do the bucket and cat litter thing. It's a possibility you could, but this is much easier. If your truck doesn't come with a toilet, the bottom part holds the waste, top part holds the flushing water, and you use these uh, cartridges, which I found, uh, I tried a lot of chemicals. The porta uh those blue cartridges really have worked the best. I've tried everything else. Uh, this is really the easiest and best thing. This is great for the flush water on the top. Or if you have a toilet built into your truck, the, the, the flush water on the top, I use a one ounce of that. Every once in a while, I wash the toilet out with this, let it sit overnight. Uh, here's some hard toe shoes that don't look like hard toe shoes, and they're barely qualified for the for a FedEx dress code. Here, these ones are a little bit better. Um, the, and I bought, <laughs> I bought his and hers gloves. Um, there's because uh, you want to have gloves especially when you're fueling and working with things on the truck or working with the load bars and things and some rain gear you got to deliver in, a, in really heavy rain um, I don't want to get everything all wet especially my shoes uh, so I even bought some some rain shoe covers I got his and hers rain rain jackets uh, and the shoe covers so uh, and sometimes you know you get something on your windshield and you're not at a truck stop it's nice to have something with the long handles where you could use your wind your wind, window fluid and still scrape the wind so this is a heater i bought because our heater wasn't working right and i put it on the counter and it works really well it's almost too hot it's got controllable heat on an on off switch and this is my little air conditioner for the summer if it's hot uh, my co-driver, I can put that on the counter. It's USB, and it gives us some nice air. So I've got hooks all over the place. Now, the vinyl covers, the vinyl walls, nothing sticks to it. It'll fall off in a couple of days. But everywhere else, the hard surfaces, the wood cabinets, everywhere else, these are awesome. And you can take them off without damaging the truck. I have my keys hanging on them, everything. This you must have. If you're putting stuff in the boxes under the truck, water can't get in when you're driving. Uh, so you want to seal these things in there. And I got a little trash, <laughs> little trash bucket for the front, and a vacuum. You got to have a vacuum. It plugs into the cigarette lighter. I can do my cleaning with this. It's got the hose and the attachments. It's pretty good to have. I highly recommend having a, a broom as well. I have a tiny broom, a small broom, and a big broom. When you're working with your freight, you got to have a couple different things to cut locks. I have two of these, two different sizes. I also have. Um, they take some strength to use, but you want to get the big ones. Here's a tin cutter for some of those foil type of, um, I, I race, I ruined scissors, so I bought those. And this is, an, this is another one I have. And uh, things like trash bags, I recommend you get some, comp, some contractor bags and some regular, you need regular trash bags. All this stuff is a tax deduction, by the way. 
got to have two. I get two two mattress protectors, two sets of sheets, and a whole bunch of pillows. I like to put pillows in the gap between the wall and the mattress. Uh, I went with a FedEx purple, of course, uh, and gray. Um, so I get two sets of everything. Your kitchen is right next to your bed. If you spill something, you're in trouble. And you can get these storage bags, which you push the air out to keep things in. Got to have a lot of Ziploc bags, gal and quart. Get the heavy-duty ones. Get the, zip, the uh, freezer ones. And some nice stackable containers that you can put leftovers in that are easy to wash. The electric can opener is broken about two weeks. Just get a regular can opener. Uh, most of your things, you want to get the silicone. This I don't know if this is or not, but you get your get yours, get a spatula, get some silicone spatulas. Make sure these pans and pots are inductive capable. Uh, cutting board, you got to have a cutting board. Um, so these are things you know. I thought of advance. Here's a great kit: cutting board with knives with covers. Got to have covers, because if you go fishing for a knife in the drawer, you'll cut your hand. That's no good. Safety first. Get the knives with the covers. And this is my favorite thing on the truck. It's an espresso machine. I can make coffee. I can make um, espresso, and it, and it's it, the best. And I'm I, I have a cheat in my coffee video where you can make your own cartridges. And there it is, right there. You can buy that and make your own cartridges, and not spend as much money. Uh, and I have a kettle. Um, sometimes when I'm cooking something, I start out with boiling water. It's a lot faster. Or if I want tea, or if I want to use my um, coffee, what is that? The um, French press. Uh, like here's a French press right here. So I can make a coffee in a French press if I want for both of us. So it's a backup. But if my espresso starts working, I got to have my coffee. And here's the inductive um, pot I use for spaghetti and stuff. Uh, Got to have a couple of these. Use the Pyrex ones. You can put them in the microwave. You can even eat cereal out of them if you want. Uh, but these are must-haves. At least the four cup and the two cup. Uh, like I said, you want nylon uh, that are heat resistant. And that other one had that kit had some measuring cups. And you do need that. I like to cook and bake, even bake in the truck. Here are some towels for camping. They hold a lot of water. They absorb and they dry fast. Oh, these are great. Um, and, and here are some washcloths that I use. They are like exfoliating kind of material and they rinse and wash themselves when you rinse them off and they dry really fast. Haven't used these. I keep them just in case my co-driver, we can't get a shower. She's covered. We've got the no rinse shampoo, the no rinse shower cap, and the no rinse uh, soap body wash. If we're stuck a few days, I don't want an excuse of not being able to get a shower. So I've got all this stuff. Also got a case of baby wipes and stuff uh, to keep clean. I buy these in, the, in a larger quantity so I don't find myself running out of laundry detergent. And we have a really nice bag that's made out of Tyvek that doesn't rip for our laundry. So when you're going to the truck truck stop and you, you don't dry your hair and they don't have a, a hair dryer and it's cold out, you, you want to make sure you have a hair dryer with you. And it's something to carry to the shower is great as well. Keep a lot of these baby wipes um, in the truck as well. And we can't keep the um, disinfectant wipes. These are Lysols for surfaces on the truck. So this is my Verizon getting in some electronics. This is a Wi-Fi for the truck. So my Rand McNally can get Wi-Fi. All the devices in my truck can get Wi-Fi. It's a jet pack by Verizon. You pay for it as an additional phone, and it has a limited amount of data. So just be careful on how you use it. I <laughs> didn't know I had it hooked up to my um, Fire Stick TV, and it zapped all my data. This is an antenna I hook up to the jet pack. It goes out. Uh, six cups on the window, on the side window, and hooks in for better reception. This is a, um, was it U YouTube? I forget what it's called. Hutu. And it's like a network system for your truck. You can hook it into your jetpack or pick up Wi-Fi signals you get at McDonald's or a truck stop and send it to the rest of your truck. So you definitely want to have a truck navigation system. This is the Rand McNally. And this particular one, the Overdrive Pro, has a dash cam and um, Sirius XM radio built in. If you don't need those things, there's other ones you can get, but you definitely need that in addition to the one in your C-Link. Plus, I recommend having a backup. And here's one for $80 on, on Amazon, which is a backup. And because the dash cam's included in the Rand McNally one, I have some of these to record the video. This incorporates uh, communication with messaging, voice, text all with your Rand McNally and with with the phone and works all together and since you can't touch electronics while you're driving it's a great thing to have you got to have all sorts of cords charging cords connections extension cords uh, really so I bought a bunch of different things you find your charging cords can wear out you want to have backups and extras video connections uh, charging system I have this in the front of my truck um, 
uh, for, for, the, for things to splitters. And I like battery chargers and rechargeable batteries. Saves you a lot of money. This is a magnetic system that sticks on the dash for your phones. Because of the humidity in the front of the truck, they seem to fall off. So better luck with that. Think about your dog. We got a dog bed. We have two of them. Uh, keep it in between the two seats up there when we're driving. And uh, dog loves it. Uh, so it, there, some of the rides are bumpy. So that one has a nice foam mattress in it. Um, for, for our dog, I even got stuff for their for her paws because walking around the truck stop surfaces sometimes is rough on her paws, uh, and we so our dog is everything to us, uh, Maggie. So we we take good care of her. And what about a bowl for her to drink out of? This one is spill proof, and the water as you're moving around won't spill out. It's got a cover that keeps it from spilling all over the place. And this this liner material we put on all our counters, and we have little boxes on it so things don't slide around. This is a must-have, the rubber kind of liner. So this is what I wish we have, and sometimes I feel that's what we're driving. I, I, this is my envision of what, what I want to be in, but it's not. We're in a FedEx truck. And uh, so I have everything I need as if I was in that really luxurious truck. And when we moved in from one truck to another, it was a nightmare. Oh, my God. Unpacking. Oh, geez. So I wish we had the time to slowly and casually move everything, but we didn't. And this is what it looked like when we changed trucks to our new truck. So that, that took a lot of work. And I think we had a couple of fights, too. Not a fun day. So what about putting all this stuff away? Did I forget to mention a step stool? Because I forgot to buy one. We had to go to Walmart and get one. I couldn't reach the cabinets to put everything away. So something you meet, might need to have. So once you get organized, you can really live it up. And as if you're living in one of these, uh, if you have everything you need, you think ahead, you're well supplied, you can really enjoy your time out on the road. It does take a little work to get organized and get things together. But just think about everything you like, everything you want, everything you want to get out of your travels on the road and what you want to be safe and comfortable. And write everything down, do some planning, uh, get everything in advance to save you some time, and be comfortable and enjoy your time on the road. I'm going to show you some sightseeing videos for a few minutes here, and uh, good travels. Well, we're on the road. This is our first... First time driving the FedEx truck for a load, picking up a load in Massachusetts. So Audrey's driving the truck for the first time, doing a great job so far. I and, forgot I saw us well, Five miles so far. And we've got our mascot, Maggie White Glove. Maggie! Ah, nice high for the camera. Trying out our Grand McNally. Make sure that doesn't get us lost. So how does it feel, Lynn? Huh. <laughs> I'll be fine. You're doing great. One mile. Got some serious mountains going on here. Why is that Jake break kicking in? <laughs> 